Hi everyone, today's headlines. Nagaland 256 healthcare workers vaccinated in Kohima district on January 22nd. Nagaland COVID-19 tally 12,072. Farmers alleged conspiracy to kill four union leaders. Indian Intel sports Chinese spies along LAC cautions army to stay alert. Nine students arrested for ragging in Mengluru College. Two gun runners arrested along Assam Nagaland border, pistol seized. ULFA 1 and NSCN urge people to boycott Republic Day celebration call for 17 hour general strike. News in details Nagaland 256 healthcare workers vaccinated in Kohima district on January 22nd. On the sixth day of vaccination in Nagaland, 256 healthcare workers were vaccinated yesterday, January 22, 2021, in Kohima district with special permission to conduct the vaccination drive, although the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has directed districts to conduct the COVID-19 vaccination on Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays to ensure routine immunization activities is carried out on other days. A total of 4,480 healthcare workers including doctors, nurses and support staff were vaccinated across all districts in Nagaland till date, informed Health and Family Welfare Department, Government of Nagaland yesterday. Nagaland COVID-19 tally 12,072 Nagaland on Friday reported two new COVID-19 cases, one each in Dimapur and Kohima, taking the tally to 12,072. Meanwhile, the distribution across various categories include 4,667 cases from the armed forces or police, 1,857 returnees, 4,976 trace contacts and 572 frontline workers. Farmers alleged conspiracy to kill four union leaders. Protesting farmer leaders have alleged that a conspiracy has been hashed to kill four union leaders during the proposed tractor rally on January 26 to create disturbance and incite violence. At a late night press conference at the Zingu border, the farmer leaders presented a person who claimed that during the tractor rally, his team members were allegedly asked to pose a policeman and baton charge on the crowd. We had planned to stop farmers from moving ahead during January 26 rally and if they did not stop, we had planned to first fire in the air and then our teammates were to fire from behind so that the police official present at the spot think that the farmers are firing at them. Indian Intel sports Chinese spies along LAC cautions army to stay alert. While the South Bloc is tight-lipped about the issue, intelligence agencies have been able to spot movement of entities in the Dowlet Bek Oldi sector near Karakoram, the contested point on banks of Pangong Zo and across the LAC in Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh. Communication intercepts by Indian intelligence agency from across the line of actual control in Ladakh, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh reveal heightened activity of the People's Liberation Army on intelligence all along the undefined border with India in an attempt to get information on Indian Army movements and the ongoing border infrastructure upgrade being carried out by India. Indian and Chinese troops have been locked in an impasse all along the LAC in East Ladakh for the past eight months. The two sides have held eight rounds of talks but not been able to arrive at a workable mechanism for de-escalation and disengagement. Nine students arrested for ragging in Mengluru College. Nine students involved in the ragging of a first-year student at the Srinivas College of Pharmacy in Valachil were arrested by the police on Friday. Third-year B Pharma students Jinsu 20 years, Srikanda PV 20 years, Ashwan 20 years, Shayan 22 years, Afirat Rajiv 21 years, second-year B Pharma students Rahul P 21 years, Jishnu 20 years, Mukhtar Ali 19 years, and Mohammad Razim K 20 years, who allegedly ragged first-year B Pharma student Abiraj, has been arrested, said Mangaluru Commissioner of Police N Shashi Kumar. Two gun runners arrested along Assam Nagaland border pistol seized. In the run up to the 72nd Republic Day, Katkadi police on Thursday nabbed two suspected gun runners with a pistol in the East Kirby Anglong district along the Assam Nagaland border. Acting on a tip off regarding the movement of some armed unidentified person in the Lahorijan area bordering Nagaland, 
An operation was carried out by Katkati police, said Bokajan SDPO John Das. During the operation, one 7.65 mm pistol along with magazine and two rounds of live ammunition were seized from the possession of two youths. ULFA-1 and NSCN urged people to boycott Republic Day celebration called for 17-hour general strike. The United Liberation Friend of Assam Independent and the NSCN has issued its customary call for general strike on January 26 appealing the people of the region to boycott the Republic Day celebration. This so-called Republic Day of India is a confrontation to our ideals and hence we have been opposing it. We call upon all political and apolitical people of WESEA Western Eastern Southeast Asia to boycott the celebration of this Indian political event, the ULFA once said in a statement. The two outfits have called for a 17-hour total shutdown on January 26 from 1 a.m. till 6 p.m. on January 26. However, all essential and emergency services are free to deliver their services, ULFA-1 leader Deep Assam said. Calling for boycott of the Republic Day celebration, the ULFA-1 said, The Assam administration has placed Assam on a sacrificial platform of one India, one culture and one language destiny. That's all for now. To get this latest news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.